Are you planning to take AWS Solution Architect Associate exam? Curious how the cracked it on the first attempt without even taking a single mock test? Well, I did just that. In this video, I'll walk you through my complete preparation journey for the SAA CO3 examination, the resources I used and my exam day experience and what's next on my AWS certification roadmap. So let's dive in. So welcome devs to the world of cloud and certification. My name is Pravesh Sudha, AWS Community Builder and DevOps Enthusiast. And today I will be sharing my personal experience with clearing the Solution Architect Associate Examination. This video isn't just a walkthrough, it's a complete guide for anyone who wants to master AWS core services and get certified with real world preparation inside. So the AWS Solution Architect Associate exam or SAA CO3 is a mid-level certification by AWS focused on designing cost optimized, scalable and secure solution in the cloud. If you already have experience with on-prem system or basic AWS knowledge, this is the perfect step for you. You don't need deep programming skill for this examination, but understanding AWS core services, infrastructure basis and some automation concept will be very helpful. So there are total 65 questions in this exam, out of which 15 are unscored experimental questions. And the trick here is that you don't know which of the questions are the experimental one. So you have to try to answer all the 65 questions with all your heart and energy. So the question type are multiple choice and multi response, which means that out of four or three, uh, three to four options, you have to select one. And in multi response, out of five to six options, you have to select two or three depending upon the question. So the duration for this exam is 130 minutes. You can submit it earlier. And the cost of this exam is $150 plus additional text depending upon the country you are uh, giving the exam. And the passing score for this examination is 720. And AWS has uh, their own way of measuring the marks. So you don't have to worry about it. Just give your best. So now let's see the basic exam domain. So the examination is divided into four domains. So the first is designing secure architecture. So it holds a weightage of 30%. It involves basic service, uh, secure services like WOF, uh, guard duty, inspector, etc. The next domain includes resilient architecture, which involves services like uh, elastic load balancer, application load balancer, etc. And the third domain includes high performing architecture, which include a uh, lustral file server and many more. And the last is cost optimized architecture, which holds 40% of the weightage. So this involves basically S3 services like D Glacier, EBS Snapshots, RDS Snapshots, etc. So each domain is deeply tied to the AWS best practices, the well architecture framework and real world solution design scenario. So make sure you read the official exam guide before starting. So this is the exam guide. I'll link it down in the description box. So now let's talk about how I prepare for the exam and the full story behind it. So, so in March 2025, I was selected as an AWS community builder under the containers category. And as a part of the program, AWS offer, sorry, AWS offers a 100% certification voucher each year. And I decided to use mine for the AWS Solution Architect Associate exam. So by the end of June, I decided that I will start preparing for this examination. So my main resources was free code camp AWS SAA codes by Andrew Brown. So I'll link it down in the description box. So it's a 50 hour compressive deep dive into AWS uh, services. So I studied about two hours every day and completed this video in like 25 days. And I then spent the next two days uh, revising my own notes about from uh, taken from this video. So this course alone gave me more than enough depth to feel confident about the exam. But here's something different. I didn't take any more full test. And while that worked for me, I highly recommend you to take mocks because it helps you find your weak point. So instead I practiced 350 plus practice question from an excellent YouTube playlist. So let me show you that. So I'll link down the link of it in the description box. So it is by a piece of code channel. And uh, this helped me understand question framing and test my concepts. Uh, and towards the end of this uh, preparation journey, 
I wanted to differentiate between similar services like S3 versus EFS, ELV versus Network Load Balancer, etc. So that's when I discovered about Tutorial uh, Dojo. So they have awesome AWS cheat sheet where you can uh, like categorize all your services based on the function like compute service, storage service, database service. So depending upon the service type, you can search about it and compare the service. So it is very helpful to know the basic of the services. So my exam was scheduled for August 3rd, 12.30 to 3 p.m. And I logged in at 12 p.m. using OnView application. So I completed the screening process and by 12.30 my exam started. So I managed to finish all the questions and even review them once more in, in the final 5 minutes and still that imposter syndrome hits hard. I kept thinking did I just waste my voucher. So like to distract myself I watched a Kevin Hart special and by the end of it I was like in a better mood. And at like 5 p.m. I got a mail from Credly that I got awarded with a batch. And I logged into my AWS certification account and boom, I scored 800 out of 1000. And it was surreal and the effort has paid off. So with this solution architect associate clear, now I am preparing for AWS DevOps Engineer Professional DOP CO2 exam. This aligned perfectly with my DevOps background and my interest in building automated scalable AWS solution. So I'll be sharing that journey soon too. So stay tuned. So that's the end of the video. I hope this video gives you a clear roadmap to how to prepare for AWS Solution Architect Associate Examination. If it did, like, comment below your thoughts or question and subscribe to stay updated on the future AWS and DevOps content. So also check out my blog uh, for this video. I'll be linking it down in the description. So see you next time. Till then, ciao.